I got another one. Another what? I got another video for my for my for my people. Like what? I'm curious. How many people really? do you think checked your will? How many people checked your will nowadays? I would tell you probably nobody. They check the oil when the engine's knocking. You right? know what I think? I think it's the people that run into your shop and say, can I get a quick oil change? <laughs> <laughs> How often should you check your oil? I would tell you weekly with today's engines that are, are documented that from brand new they're going to burn one quart of oil in how many miles? One quart of oil in 3,000 miles is what the industry is, is pushing towards to tell their customers. Really? Yep, one quart. For new cars? Yeah, for today's, to, for today's engines. Really? And I, I'm sick of reading that, you know, the yesteryear's uh, oil change practices of 3,000 miles um, no longer apply because synthetic oils are so, so far advanced. The engines today are far worse than they ever have been. Why Today's they? engines are far worse. Why so what they're they? saying is, you don't have, people were out there trying to brainwash people and saying, you don't need to change your oil every 3,000 miles. Yeah, they're saying 10, right? 7,500, 10, never, so on and so forth. But once you get into the service departments, the, the technicians are now are steering people, and they don't care what the manufacturer is saying. This is reality. Your engine's burning oil the fir by the first oil change or the second oil change or the third oil change it's already burning oil for real so now they're saying come in every 3,000 miles because your engine on average is consuming one quart of oil within 3,000 miles so if you only have four and a half quarts of oil and you go 3,000 miles now you have three and a half quarts right then go 5,000 miles two to two and a half quarts that's 50 percent of your oil life is gone now the engine can't cool and lubricate properly now it starts to become burning and sticking like in a fryer pan as the oil goes down, right? And it starts to get black and contaminated and cooky and sticky and thicky. Yeah, but you would think that that would happen before 5,000 miles. I'm saying, they're saying 7,500 to 10,000 from and those And I'm saying that cars. you would think that something like that would happen before 5,000 miles. I'm saying your engine could be out of oil if you follow the five to 10,000 mile industry lies. And the wow. point of this video is, if yeah. you don't check your oil, you will never know. Right. And not every new car that they say, they're saying around one quart. It may not, and then it may. The industry standards right now is, it's pretty definite your engine's going to burn oil with a brand new car. Wow. Yeah. And then if you stretch your oil to five and 10,000 miles, you're already putting those deposits inside the engine because... It's burning the oil up and it's leaving deposits behind already from day one of a 10,000 mile oil change. Wow. That's crazy. Sludge has already, sludge has already happened. Oil manufacturers are saying and saying that 7,500 is pretty much the end of its useful life for an oil, for end of its useful life. You should have already changed it. Right. 10,000 and all that is way too long. Right. So, so 7,500, you should have already changed your oil, right? So where is it safest between three and five? And I'm saying five is still too long if your engine burns one quart of oil every 3,000 miles. Wow. Follow me? And the new car so 3,000 miles is the exact specific time that you should check your oil for color and if it's full. As your oil level comes down, your engine's suffering. How often do you check your oil? Hey. 